Welcome to a tutorial on how to use audio to face with Machinima. We provided one asset currently set up with audio to face and the audio to face tutorials will show you how to set up additional assets. This tutorial will go through the Bannerlord 2 Legionary and how to get it going and hooked up in Machinima. So first things first, we provided a setup under the Bannerlord 2 folder for audio to face and it will be as such. We are currently in the audio to face app, which is available on the Omniverse launcher. For tutorials on audio to face, please check in on that application's documentation website. So I won't spend much time going over all these controls, but suffice to say, we hit play. You can see that the actor we have here is talking along with the target. At this point, you'll go through, you'll adjust your parameters, and then you'll come to the most important part, which is like exporting the facial animation as a USD cache. So this you will set to a specific export directory, and you will export the individual pieces that you've broken out. In regards to this character, we have a head stamp, a left and right eye stamp. We have his helmet, his beard, his eyebrows, and those should be the main caches that you can need to export. In the background, I'll go ahead and export these now, but let's go ahead and go over to the Machinima app. And here I am back in Omniverse Machinima. Now I've taken the Imperial Legionary and I've brought him into a stage. And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bring in those audio to face caches that I generated. I generated three. And I'm gonna pull them into my stage. Where these are on the stage doesn't really matter. I find it is nice to actually try to get them lined up and put near my character when I'm setting everything up. Uh, they'll come in as this simple, you know, gray setup. And let me go ahead and move the beard forward a little bit. I could do a better job of getting this together. And if I scrub the timeline, I'll see that I have a face that moves and talks. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Windows, Extension, and type in toolbox. Uh, this extension will be off by default. It is installed with Machinima but not enabled by default and you'll simply want to turn it on. When it's on you should see toolbox up here on your top line. Now to hook up this audio to face cache to this character is fairly simple. What the toolbox does is it's looking for a one-to-one -one vertex uh, count so that that the face on my graphics mesh is identical to the cache from audio to face So that's why this particular asset is set up as it is and if you want to do this with additional assets, you'll have to do additional setup So I'm going to hit make sure I'm in prim mode Which I hit T to get into and I'm gonna click the face and It shows I'm clicked on audio to face and then I'm gonna click on the face of my character with control click So they're both selected go to toolbox built-in Mesh, connect points, and now I can see his mouth is moving in time. And I'll go ahead and do this with the other two caches. And now, we, there we go. Now we have our walking talk. We have our talking guy. He ain't walking yet, but he is talking. So now let's say we want to have all this animated in time. Let's go ahead and grab the beard, audio to face mesh. Right now it's all starting at zero, as you can see. I want him to start talking at say frame 200. I'm going to move this down. You'll see the beard hasn't started moving yet and it will now properly sequence. And you'll have to do this for the other two caches as well. And now we can see they're all playing now at 200. And the asset that we put this on can be animated just the same as it always has been in sequence. So we'll go ahead and put an animation on him just to kind of prove that out. And now we have a fully talking and moving character. After you set this up, you can uh, simply hide these assets 
as you don't need to see them now. The important thing was to make sure you drag in the actual mesh into the sequencer from audio to face. And that's your easy way to get some facial animation on our legionary.